Can I ask you, uh, we understand a deal agreed for Sergio Gomez, a position I think that you've been very keen to, to strengthen in. Can you tell us a little bit about why you've gone for him and, and how you see him fitting in, please? Well, you know the club always is working in many, many possibilities and chances in all positions. Um, um, and this one target is a young, young player. Uh, in the World Cup, European Cup years ago, the best player was Phil Foden and he was the second best player in this tournament. He played in Spain under 21. And uh, he was a young player talent player for the academy Barcelona, he went to Dortmund, he didn't have much minutes and the last year played under the good hands from Vincent Company in Anderlecht and uh, he played really well and um, and yeah, we, we target him and we could bring him here, so that's One all. for now or one for, for the future? No, no, for now, no. He's going to stay with us, the squad, and it will be with Joao, alongside Joao, George and him, a position for the left back. So he's going to stay with us. Haaland inevitably took a lot of the headlines last week. Can I just check with you? I think you've been a manager now for 15 years, since 07? Yeah, more or less, yeah. 40, 15. Of all the players that you've coached and, and managed in that time, can you, can you rate Haaland at this stage? I know you've only seen him for a few weeks. He's an exceptional player, but we are together one month, one month and a half. So. So it's not important. It's an exceptional player. It's not necessary to tell you. Everybody knows it. But uh, we are just a few time together. So and he's incredible competitor. He want to win, and we are going to do this path together. But you see him in training where we don't. What do you see in training that convinces you that he's so special? Well, there's basically a sense of goal. I have a goal between uh, here and uh, and. Uh, what I impressed the most is the fact that uh, he had incredible good education for the fact he's a very humble guy, needs on the earth, uh, how much he talks with the young players, not just for the, you know, the important players that we have, they always he talks. So, yeah, he said a good, like Julian, like uh, the other guys. And can I also just ask you this week? Uh, yeah, we have a Calvin with Sam Nichols. I don't know if we'll be able, and uh, Cole Palmer had a knock in his feet uh, last game, and obviously it's doubt uh, tomorrow. So the rest are perfect. Thank you. Hi, Pep. Um, I think many people were impressed uh, with the performance and the role of the fullbacks against West Ham. Uh, when you now have a striker who's not going to contribute in the same way in midfield as you had before, how does that affect how you choose to use your fullbacks? Uh, in the play? It's not the first time I've done it. Many years I've done it. Last season with striker, proper striker with Gabriel or Rush playing that or a false nine, we played two. And many games we didn't play and many games this season we are not going to play. So it depends of the quality of opponents, especially the shape or the opponents defend. The way we attack, it depends on the opponents, how they defend. And it's different to attack four in the back and five in the back. It's different to attack with two strikers flat or one and one, it's different to see how the wingers behave. Defense so, so narrow, or so, so wide. This affect your attack. And and that you have to adapt. So, but since I would say by Munich, I start a little bit, especially the second season or first, second season, always I use it many, many times. And we saw uh, a couple of times Erling contributing in the, in the build-up play in